Good morning. Not exactly the best start to our trip. So we got locked out of the Airbnb last night. We might just chill at Macca's. We might just sleep in the car. I think I'm just gonna sleep in the car. Good night, mess. Good night, my man. Good morning, sunshine. How was your sleep? They use like this combination code thing. Ah, sorry, no, no, they don't use a combination code thing. They use this system where you have to go into a shop, give the shopkeeper the combination code, and then they give you the key. But the thing is, we arrived at about 11 p.m. By the time we got the car, it was 12 by the time we got to St. Kilda, which is where we're supposed to be staying. It was one. So the shop's ain't open at one. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hmm. So we slept in the car. Um, overall, I had a really good sleep. I had a terrible sleep, man. Four out of 10, that shit, man, bro. Back sore, neck sore, trap sore. I blew shoulders. that back out last night. What did he say? Hey! Oh, Wait, cut. Right, um, <laughs> no. No homo. So just went to Macca's, got a coffee, and we're about to go and crack on with the day. So what's on the plan today is Woolworths. 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 We gotta get some food, get ourselves sorted, get finally check it. Finally. Finally get into the Airbnb. And we're gonna do a photo shoot. That's not in my diet, so I don't, I don't want to, as much as I want to eat it. We just go with the plain and, plain and simple, you know I like vanilla. We are finally here. Kermit, doing well? Nah, you've done good. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Room tour. Room tour. Fuck these guys. Room tour. Oh, wee. Wow. A microwave. We got some free shoes. Some yeah, free, shoe. free shoes. Oh, beautiful Big work. What, it, what size are you? Uh, 11.5. We got a bathroom over here. Yes, yes. Gotta love it when it comes with a toilet. Oh, office. Whoa, I didn't see this in the. Gee, is this? Bruh. Gee, is this guy a kiwi? Look at this. Bro, oh, look at this. Look at this Kane's jersey. Get the key out. Oh, that's okay. Fuck the key. Oh, shit. Oh, well, you know, right? Huh? Everyone's just immigrating here, right? <laughs> What's for breakfast, man? I got protein yogurt and bananas with a side of coffee. Very nice. Nice and simple. Nice. Yeah. I wish. So, <sighs> haven't eaten all day. Honestly, man, usually it's just two scoops of protein on these depletion, fat loading days. But... Bro, I am so hungry. So, it's just gonna be some vegetables on top of that as well because I think I will actually die. 60 grams? Perfect. On top of that, I might have a couple of eggs just because I'm really hungry. Now, if you don't wanna cook eggs on the stove or anything, and you've got a microwave handy, you can actually poach them like this. Just do that until the water covers the eggs. Looks good enough to me. Yep. Okay. And quite literally, just put it on. Uh, you do have to just watch it a little bit, right? So take it out maybe every every 10, 15 seconds, just until you get the get the timing right. But trial and error, man. Trial and error. Thank you. 
I reckon it could still go in for a little bit longer. Nice, have you seen this before? Two poached eggs and veggies? Not no, anymore. man. Poaching with the microwave. No, I haven't, bro. Check this. Oh, you, you watch. You watch. Ooh! Damn! Damn. Look, man, it works. I'm telling you. Water, microwave. All you need. And the other thing that I like to do with my protein is after I shake it up, leave a little bit of room for, for, for more water, more hot water. And just top it up, because I don't know, maybe I'm getting a bit old. You know, it's just like nicer to wake up to like a warm drink rather than a cold ass protein shake, right? And it sits in your stomach a little bit better as well. Helps me a lot with hunger, honestly. Don't knock it till you try it. Just gonna do some planning, eat, and then we gotta head to the gym for the shoot. And we have arrived at Doherty's world famous gym. Doherty's is like is like the like the gold gym of Australia. You know what I mean? It's got a bit of a historic significance, cultural significance within the community. Yeah, looking around, man, this is a pretty hardcore bodybuilding gym, bro. All the bodybuilders all around. It's actually pretty sick, eh? It's a nice gym, so. We're just gonna get the final workout of the the season. No, not not of the season of the comp. Hey. Hey. The season? No, no, no. Are you retiring? I could be keen to just finish it up here, honestly. Just uh, winning but, <laughs> No, final session, final session before we step on stage because tomorrow is just gonna be a full body pump, banded work or like carb load, 1,100 grams of carbs into my body. Yeah, so it's just gonna be nice and easy. I'm gonna jack the weights a little bit heavier than I'm usually training with uh, and then really drop the reps down just so I can have a little bit more neurological stimulation rather than creating a lot of metabolic demand for my muscles because a damaged muscle is not that good at holding glycogen and I kind of want my muscles to to hold some carbs because that's what's going to make me look full. So let's get into it. Today's workout is just going to be nice and simple, We're really just going to break it down into uh, the different muscle groups that I want to pump up and ultimately deplete the rest of the carbohydrate, the glycogen sources uh, that's in those muscles. The reason being is that I've got a carb load coming up tomorrow and based on the science, if we can deplete our carb sources all the way down, have an absolutely tank, uh, we should be able to create an effect where when we do load the carbohydrates in, we have the capacity of loading uh, loading in the amount greater than the usual capacity um, that our body is capable of holding. So nice and easy, three sets each, and we're just gonna take it um, to a shorter rep range. We don't wanna burn it out. We don't wanna burn out our muscles completely in the sense that like, we don't want to damage them. Because like I said, a damaged muscle isn't really good at holding glycogen. So we just want that stimulus from the brain to the muscles, like bang, 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 use up the rest of the energy stores that's within those muscles and get some blood flow going. Now by this point, me and Mass have been working for a long ass time, so we got pretty efficient with it. And of course, he just started jumping in the workout. One of the other things that I try and avoid is exercises that have a really long eccentric portion uh, so or like a negative portion for example the romanian deadlift where you're really stretching the muscle all the way out and you ever notice how after you do a set of romanian deadlift something like that uh, you tend to get a little bit more sore perhaps you're doing like a dumbbell curl and you're holding the negatives for a long time so yeah, again, we want to stimulate the muscles, we want to burn through the energy sources, but we don't want to cause any damage. Now overall, the gym in itself, man, this was such a sick place to train at. All of those photos on the walls, the Olympians, the IFBB pros, people from like the 60s, 70s, 80s, man, you kind of go through like this era change. And I think they, I, I think it was on purpose. I think they had like a theme for, you know, each of the wars, which made it that much cooler. As far as the machines go, man, there was like a machine for everything. If one didn't fit your body, your anatomy, like the machine next to it is going to have those adjustments where you might just feel a little bit more comfortable. Everything was so well maintained. The resistance profile of the machines, awesome. 
Bro, this has got to be the best shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> you know this guy's savage. Oh, shit! I don't even know the dude. What's your name? Uh, Caleb. Caleb? Um, yeah. How, how, good at, how good are you at eating ass? Fucking excellent. Lots and lots of practice. Lots of practice pretty training. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you better at? Train. Go up. Go up. What are you saying? I don't want this. You, you don't want this? I don't want this. Yeah, well then stop clicking on it, you dirty perv. You old dirty bastard. Hey, go back, go back. Show the people, show the... I like this type of shit. Nah, look, man, the al algorithm doesn't lie. No, the algorithm knows that I'm a single male that's fucking thirsty. But I don't want to see it on my phone. I want to see it in real life. Yeah, yeah but you've been yeah, liking yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. No, the algorithm ain't lying. You're the one lying. Why would right through that gap in your teeth. <laughs> that's where the lies come from. That's where the lies come from. Why, why, why do men lick their lips before they speak? I lick my tooth cap. <laughs> to marinate the lies. <laughs> we just got back from the gym. Now I've got two jobs. First, I need to shave my entire body. Uh, and I gotta cook some chicken. So, I love poaching everything. First step is you gotta check some water in the pot. Bring the water to a boil. Chicken tits. Chicken titties. Last thing is put the lid on. Now you can either just turn it off, um, you know, and, and it'll be chill, but I think I've got a little bit too much chicken in there. So I might just bring it up to a little bit more of a simmer and then I'll turn it. You know what? I'm just going to risk it. I'm just going to turn that off. Right. And leave this baby right here and we should be good. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Look, I'm gonna get the biggest one too. And <laughs> what if it's raw? It was a really small pot, and I didn't boil it like you know, like like I had accounted for. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh shit! My bad. My bad, guys. This man nah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> this one's a little bit medium rare. Um, so I might just put this back in, but oh my god. All right, next time get a bigger pot of water. Just a little bigger pot of water so the chicken's not just like really cooling it down, uh, but it does work. And we're finally there. The chicken is no longer medium rare, but I'm not a rapper. We got 300 grams of chicken breast. We have 250 grams of non-starchy vegetables and two eggs on top of that. I actually had another four eggs before. Oh, and two teaspoons of olive oil in here. So my macros today, I'm pretty sure they were 250 grams of protein, about 40 grams of carbs, and 140, 150 grams of fat. This is the last day of my carb depletion, fat loading, protocol and tomorrow we load up on 1100 grams of carbohydrates so really hoping that after tomorrow and then i wake up the next day on the saturday i'm gonna end up looking my best looking all juicy and shit uh but yeah the reason why it's 300 grams of chicken breast uh, is because i couldn't get my last meal in we just we just took way too long at the gym there was lots of traffic and you know when you're in a new place what can you do? But the most important thing is getting it all in in a day. Timing is laid it down, you know, down that pyramid, up that pyramid, down that pyramid. It's not, what am I trying to say? It's not as important as just getting the calories in. So if you are dieting and let's say you didn't eat the entire day and you get home, look man, if you're on 1,900, 2,000 calories, whatever that may be, bang it out in that day or you can choose to bank it for the next day i just can't do that because this is part of my peak week protocol and i just yeah it's, it's not about dieting down anymore so if you're trying to lose weight hey just make sure you eat the food just get the food in and that's it right don't want to overthink it because as soon as you start overthinking it you're not going to get it done so what i'm going to do for the rest of the day is eat this edit this video 
hoping it goes well and get a really, really, really good night rest. Mm. All right, so I got to rest up because a well-rested physique is an awesome looking one. So, wish me luck. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Uh, I hope you have had an enjoyable time watching this. Remember to like and subscribe and um, I'll see you in the next one.